Snow White in New York by Fiona French Once upon a time, in New York, there was a poor little rich girl called Snow White. Her mother was dead, and for a while, she lived happily with her father. But one day, he married again. All the papers said that Snow White's stepmother was the classiest dame in New York, but no one knew that she was the queen of the underworld. She liked to see herself in the New York mirror. But one day, she read something that made her very jealous. Snow White, the Belle of New York City. And she plotted to get rid of her stepdaughter. Take her downtown and shoot her, she said to one of her bodyguards. The man took Snow White deep into the dark streets, but he could not do it. He left her there, lost and alone. Snow White wandered the streets all night, tired and hungry. In the early morning, she heard music coming from an open door. She went inside. The seven jazz men were sorry for her. Stay here if you like, they said but you'll have to work. What can I do? She asked. Can you sing? Said one of them. The very first night Snow White sang, there was a newspaper reporter in the club. He knew at once that she would be a star. Next day, Snow White was on the front page of the New York Mirror. The stepmother was mad with rage. This time, I shall get rid of her myself, she said. And so, she decided to hold a grand party in honor of Snow White's success. But... Secretly, she dropped a poisoned cherry in a cocktail and handed it to Snow White with a smile. All New York was shocked by the death of beautiful Snow White. Crowds of people stood in the rain and watched Snow White's coffin pass by.
The seven jazz men, their hearts broken, carried the coffin unsteadily up the church steps. Suddenly, one of them stumbled, and, to everyone's amazement, Snow White opened her eyes. The first person she saw was the reporter. He smiled at her, and she smiled back. The poisoned cherry that had been stuck in her throat was gone. She was alive. Snow White and the reporter fell in love. They had a big society wedding and the next day cruise off on a glorious honeymoon together.